Welcome to the first ever video on the channel, and today we're playing an oldie, but a goodie. Today we're playing Adventure Quest. This is an online RPG that I believe came out around 2002. Now, I haven't actually played this game since middle school. I remember it a little bit. I think I played it quite a bit along with RuneScape and other games like that. I remember you could make a free account and play for a little while, and then eventually it would like not let you log in, and you'd have to get the membership, which I think is a $20 one-time payment. I'm not sure if the game's the same as it was back when I played in like 2005, 2006, but I'm excited to create a new character, maybe do a couple quests, see how the game plays in 2021. So with that being said, let's play Adventure Quest. And of course, we're gonna be Constantine. Click on one of the character classes below to choose your starting character type. You can later change to other types, including advanced classes like Paladin and Ninja. I kinda remember that a little bit. We're gonna be a fighter. Do we go with the Afro? No. Is that the Julius Caesar look? I think we gotta go with this classic Squall RPG hair. Blonde hair for sure. And we'll go blue eyes. Your new character is finally ready. Visit the magic shop in town if you wish to change your look. Battle on. Constantine, level zero adventurer. All right, let's start this quest. Greetings and salutations, Constantine. Welcome to the town of Battalion, home to the Guardian Tower. I am Atrix Krieger, resident paladin and your host for this tutorial. Great forces, both good and evil, and everything in between are gathering strength across the lands. New quests and wars happen weekly, so there's always something fun to explore. First, let us take a quick tour of the town. The little red fellow on the left is Twilly. Twilly is a Moglin. They are a peaceful race, and most Moglins practice nature, magic, and healing. Twilly has many quests for you to complete, and will share with you any rumors he has heard. Moglins just love gossip. Just say hello, and he gets quite talkative. Now let me show you the buildings in town. Alright, show me. This is the Yalgar Inn, a great spot to rest your weary bones after a long day of adventuring. Yalgar is also the town's blacksmith and sells all types of equipment. He sells general use armor and shields, as well as melee weaponry, such as swords, daggers, and axes. There are many rooms to explore in the inn, with many quests available. Do not forget to check upstairs and say hello to Blackhawk. He is the fighter class trainer. Alright, we definitely gotta remember Blackhawk. Here we have Rabina, the hood's range shop. Rabina is unrivaled with a bow, and she is the rogue class trainer. Here is the shop of the Frog Zard Hunter. This guy specializes in hunting down the rarest of Zards. Visit his shop to find equipment specifically designed for Zard fighting. Whether you are tracking Zards or the Zard Master himself, the shop offers many quests to explore. These tents are home to the combat trainers. Visit the group of seasoned veterans to increase your stats, plus find more info about advanced combat mechanics. Sir Lancelot is an all-around trainer for beginners, raising any of your stats up to 75 points. This is Arya's pet shop. Here young Arya keeps animals of all kinds, some natural, some mystical, and some just plain weird. Pets are loyal companions that will aid you in battle. You should always make certain to keep one by your side. The housing shop is home of Higgins Real Estate and Bullbug's Title Company. Buy a home from Higgins to have a place to rest your head after a day of adventuring, or purchase an estate and build a massive army to go to war with you. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's new. I do not remember being able to buy a house back in the day, or build a massive army. Looking for a quick adventure? Clicking on these mountains in Battleon will randomly select a monster for you to battle. Okay. This hero is the Guardian Tower. Guardians are the elite protectors of lore with access to special equipment and the ability to take on every quest and area they can find. Inside the Guardian Tower, you will find tons of powerful equipment that only Guardians may wield, plus the Guardian Arena to test your metal. Uh-oh, that sound came from the edge of town. I know the sounds of undead movement anywhere. We better go investigate. I knew it, a foul Death Knight approaches. With my help, Constantine, we will send this bag of bones back to the nether from which it came. But first, I will explain the basics of combat on lore to you, Constantine. Alright, I need this. Move your mouse over an enemy's portrait to view their stats. This shows various attributes, combat defenses, and their elemental resistances. Combat defenses are the enemy's base chance to block a melee, ranged, or magic attack. 25 melee defense means a 25% chance to block a melee attack. Okay. Resistances are how much damage a creature takes from a particular element. 100% means normal damage, 200% means double damage, and 50% means half damage. Creatures can also have negative resistances, thus 100% resistance to an element means it will heal that creature instead. Okay. This Death Knight attacks with darkness and is weak to light, so equipping an armor and shield that resists darkness and a weapon that inflicts light damage is useful. You should make sure to change to the most effective weapon and armor for the encounter. It generally does not cost a turn to change your equipment, so you have no reason to not change into the best equipment possible. The best way to learn is to do, so let's take down this vile abomination. Alright, we are prepping for our first battle. So, we have zero spells at the moment. 
We have one health potion, one mana potion. We have a long sword, which its element is earth. Our adventurer shield, just a basic shield. We have a steel plate, no pets. All right, so let's attack. Three damage. I mean, we almost did more than Atrix, so we're just gonna attack him again. Okay, Atrix kind of sucks. Thanks for the help, bud. And this monster is about dead. Come on, Atrix, finish him off. Close. And that should do it. Alright, we get 31 XP and 10 gold. And we are now... Level 1. The undead do not usually appear this close to the hills of Badalon. Something must be driving or leading them this way. Um. What am I gonna do? Dracith. He is an incredibly powerful Dracolith. This is a powerful foe, Constantine, but I know we can defeat it to get... No! Undead monstrosity! I shall send you back to the grave and avenge Constantine. Did we die already? The Boatman. My, my, my. What have we here? Have a little accident, did we? Welcome to my realm, unfortunate one. I am a servant of death, harvester of souls. Fear not, even in death there is much adventure to be had. In my realm, you can find ways to change your name or untrain stats you wish to move elsewhere. You may also journey through my realm to collect hourglasses and can get a reward if you bring enough. I sense that you have a greater destiny, so I will not keep you in my realm. You are chosen to do great things. However, you will owe me a favor for this. And we're back. Constantine, I knew you would not be defeated so easily. I can hold this beast at bay by myself, but I cannot defeat it without your aid. For a foe this powerful, you should get appropriate equipment. I have some spare light weapons. Tell me which one you want, and we can fight and destroy this monster together. Alright, let's pick a weapon. So we have the Radiant Axe. Melee damage 4 to 7, shining with the power of light. This is a favorite weapon of Paladin Atrix Krieger. The crossbow, which I'm pretty sure if you're a rogue, and then yeah, the scepter of stars. So we're going to pick the Radiant Axe, of course. Buy that for 0 gold. Well chosen, Constantine. Now we shall defeat Dracoth together. Alright, well, let's go. So we have no skills yet. Let's pull out the Radiant Axe. What is Ally Assist? Ask Aquella for help. She'll attack for large water damage and with rending sharks that make the monster bleed. Ask Artix for help. He'll attack for massive light damage. We have Galanoth, Aquella, Zorbak, and Rabina. Let's do Artix. Even though he's already with us, he comes out of nowhere. Oh, well, he's going to attack again. We might kill this thing in one turn. Well, that went a lot quicker than the other guy. 45 XP and 15 gold. And 3 Z tokens, which I think are like the tokens you can buy with real life money, if I remember correctly. Well fought, Constantine. I would like to tell you about the classes of AQ. Classes are jobs that you select that offer powerful boosts and abilities. You gain access to these class abilities when you equip the appropriate armor. You need to equip rogue leathers to use rogue class skills, for example. A class armor will also become more powerful as you train it in that class, so they remain useful for a longer period of time than most equipment. There are various tiers of classes. The first you will find are Warrior, Rogue, Mage, and Scholar. Later classes will require having mastered one or more lower level classes. In summary, seeking out new classes and training in them can give you incredibly powerful and unique abilities. I want to introduce you to some of the great people you will meet in your travels. So long for now, Constantine. Later, bro. Oh, I remember these people. The Nostalgia. Aquella, thank you for keeping the Death Knight from making a meal of unsuspecting townsperson. You can find most of us here in town along with a lot of our friends. Like me, Procly, the town crier. I can sell you many titles to show off your accomplishments. I am Valencia. I remember Valencia. The Treasure Hunter. I can sell you mighty Z-Token equipment. These items gain a great boost in power compared to normal items. Each Z-Token item has an extra zing to it, something special to make it worth more than just gold. You can find me in Dragonstone outside of Battleon, training Dragon Slayers every week. 
There is news posted on the tree next to Twilly. There you will find your way to the travel map. Today's event will take you to any big events happening weekly, like wars and new quests. Click on the travel map button to explore the rest of the world outside of Battleon. All right, let's see what we're looking at here. You can visit more and more areas as you increase your experience level. Now that you know the basics, you are ready to start on your quest to unlock the secrets of lore. Pick one of us to help you on your first battles or go out on your own. Battle on. Choose a friend to adventure with. Well, we might as well. We'll pick Warlick. Warlick the Archmage will join you in battle. So we have a limited time offer here. Upgrade within 72 hours of a character creation to unlock extra bonuses and all the other guardian perks. We get a fireware pet, gatekeeper blade, spear plus spell. I don't think we're going to do that because we'll see how this video does. But uh, if it does well, I'll definitely upgrade in the future. We have a little countdown here on the guardian offer. All right, let's talk to this little orange Pikachu. This is one of my favorite towns in the whole world. The town of Battleon. Hey, you heard any rumors, bro? Rumor? Sure. I saw a weird plant creature in the forest. It spit seeds at me. Maybe that's why it's called a seed spitter. You should go check it out yourself. I hear there's a special spell you can get in Arya's pet shop that can actually turn seed spitters into potions. How crazy. All right, let's hunt the seed spitter. All right, seed spitter's level two, but we got the little warlock boy with us. This should be pretty easy, I think. All right, you coming out firing. All right, maybe we should check its stats, but... All right. I didn't bring you along to miss, bro. Alright, so he's weakest to, it looks like, energy. Light is 50%. So I think we should switch back to our longsword. Do four melee damage. There you go. So I wonder how many of these ally assists you get. Uh, we're going to bring Zor back out for this one. Oh, I remember this little dude. Thanks for the six damage, bro. I do remember these battles taking quite a while, so I probably will fast forward through them quite a bit. So you're not watching. So you're not watching me just click the button every two seconds. Warlock leaves to continue some of his research. Um, thanks, bro. I appreciate that. Kind of need some help here. But we got three Z tokens. I need no help from you, mortal. Stay your ground. Looks like Rithlia does need some help. So we're now fighting a level one Mauler. Let's look at his stats here. Light 25%. Yeah, we're going to just keep the normal sword here. And miss. I managed to endure the worst of his toxic claws. Okay, I can't seem to hit him, which is a little concerning. You know what? We're going to switch over to the Radiant Axe and see if that does any better. Did two range damage. Our accuracy must be doo-doo. No, we're going to use another ally assist. Galanoth. What do you got for me? Three? Six total. Thanks, Galanoth. I wonder how many... Uh, I know you only get five ally assists, but is that per 24 hours? If we bring them down to six damage. Sure hope we can... Uh, Go back to town after this. And we're poisoned again. We just keep missing. Thirty-one more XP, ten gold, and we are now level two. Moving on. Hey. Up. You believe you helped me, but you're wrong. This battle was mine to be won or lost. Now you will prove yourself against my blade. An elvish blade. Oh boy. She's level 3. We're about to get cooked. Light might actually do well against her, though. Let's try. Yeah, it did alright. This could take a while. Oh boy. And the misses begin. 
That is one thing I remember about this game, is battles taking forever. Use another ally assist. What is she weak against? Darkness and ice? Do we have a, uh... Yeah, Zorbak. Bring that dark damage. I guess I can't complain too much. And we hit her with a six. Eat shit, Rithlia. There we go. R.I.P. Rithlia. Indeed, you are a true warrior, although there is always room for improvement. My name is Rithlia, Lieutenant of the Elven Armor of Green Guard. Hello, I am Constantine. I was hunting seed spitters when I found you battling that mauler. Interesting. Well, Constantine, follow me to Treetop, where my fellow warrior elves gather for tests of ability. You follow Rithlia through the Green Guard Forest. After several long hours, you come upon a village built amongst the trees. Strange, no one is here. Treetop is usually crowded at this time. Hi, Elder Pilligroth! Lieutenant Rithlia, I see you have once again overlooked one of our sacred laws and brought an outsider into our home. Racist-ass elves. But Treetop only borders... Yes, I guess I have done wrong. I am sorry. But where has everyone else gone? Your brothers and sisters have been called to war in your absence. It seems a small Draco army marches from the Southlands. They paid no heed to our warnings and continue to let their monstrous war beasts feed on the forest's most ancient trees. You must join your fellow warriors. Leave this one here, as I have something to ask. Yes, High Elder. I must leave. I wish you well, Constantine. Perhaps this will help on your journeys. What are we getting? Get some potions? Constantine, I must ask you to never reveal this location to anyone else. Even an elf of another land. Our way of life depends on it. Ah! Okay, looks like Rithlia has been attacked. Rithlia is in trouble. Please help her. One of Drakel's forces is already here spying. Do not get in my way, creature. I must warn my Drakel brethren of the impending attack before it is too late. Alright, we're fighting a level 4 Drakel air raider. Let's see, let's look at his weaknesses here. Light should do pretty well against him. Let's see how this goes. Six damage to start. Okay, he hits hard. This one actually might be close. Hey, uh, Rithlia, you want to stand up? Could use some assistance here. Couldn't hit the broadside. Uh-oh. We are down to 30 HP. All right, he's down to one. We should be all right. As long as we hit right here. 33 XP, 22 gold. Promise me, Constantine. Promise me that you will help stop the Drakels. Drakels are shrouded in mystery. If we don't know the Drakels' motives, how can we be sure we're fighting on the right side? The side you fight for is always your choice. Find the human sage called Uldor. It is said that he knows what the Drakels want. Ugh. Rithia, here, take this. All right, we gave her a potion, and she's fine now. Thank you, friend. There is no time to spare. I must hurry. Remember, find Uldor, and you will find the truth. To war! Well done, hero. Find Sage Uldor at the Lounge in Yulgar's Inn in Batalon, and you can now access the Drakel Black Market. All right, so we can do that quest again, I'm assuming, for XP, but we're going to leave. All right, so we're back in town, having, I think, completed the Seed Spitter quest, which then led us to fighting some Drakels. So what we've learned so far is... We miss most of our attacks, our accuracy is due to, but we were able to complete one of the earliest quests. I think that'll do it for today. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what I should do with the character. What changes should I make? Which way should I go with the build? Am I playing the game right? Am I playing it wrong? Next time we'll look for that Uldor character and continue the uh, Draco quest and maybe we'll do some other things. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. This has been Constantine and I'll see you guys next time. Keep questing.
I'm too fly. I'm too fly. I'm too fly. I'm too fly. Check the peace, check the rain. Next time you catch me, I might spread wings. Fly. A Rohan solo, don't need nobody for, for helping. Him. When I'm up in this bitch, I'm fly like Millennium Falcon. And bitches know they ain't welcome. All these rappers, I'll get them.